Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Syndrome. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm loading. Uh, you've, I'm sure, seen my, if this is not your first video, it would be weird if you started on part four, but I'm not you. Make your own choices. I've become slightly frustrated with some of the game's design choices. Design failures. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is uh, just gonna play the game on fast forward, and if something happens that uh, that I think is worth commenting on, something I like, something I, I dislike, you know, maybe one of the monsters is gonna look great, who knows. Uh, we will uh, drop out of that, and then uh, get back to the game game. Uh, so anyway, I'm pressing the map button and the map is not coming up. So, apparently since yesterday they've done an update that has changed what some of the buttons do. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go recalibrate the buttons, and then I will be back after doing so. Because I can't open my, uh, can't open my item menu or my map. Can I, can I do it with the, uh, oh, there's, there's the map. Okay, that's good. And what about the item menu? Should I just... Should I just focus on... Uh, this is a weird thing to do, game. Alright. Mouse still works. Mouse wheel doesn't switch weapons, everybody. You thought you lived in a world where mouse wheel switched weapons and no game would ever make the mistake of not having the mouse wheel switch weapons? Well, you're wrong. Hmm. What we are going to do, though, is before I uh, go and check that out, and... Uh, I'm 100... Wow, the clicking the thumbstick isn't even turning on my flashlight anymore. Uh, okay. This is really bad, guys. Uh, just for fun, before I go and check out the uh, item the key binding, I'm going to go and uh, shoot a bunch of zombies. Let's see what it's like when I use my gun on a zombie. So is there not a zombie around here? I don't want to harp on this, but I swear to God, that even looks like the gun from uh, System Shock 2. And if I'm good at my job, when I say that, there will be a picture of the gun from System Shock 2 on screen. Just, just FYI. I mean, I know it's possible I've just been humiliated by that picture coming up, but... Uh, and to a certain extent, all sci-fi guns look alike. How is there no one here to kill? There were two zombies chasing me all over the damn place. Not five minutes earlier in the game. Now all of them have disappeared. Great. And now they've got some epilepsy lights. Fantastic. I mean, I don't have epilepsy, but uh, I do not encourage anyone who does play this game. You know, now, come to think of it, I don't think this game had a flashing lights warning, which it really should have. So let's just go find something to shoot. How hard could that possibly be? I'm on a ship full of ing zombies. Alright. Uh, let's keep going north. Nope. So remember how I thought I'd go back around and uh, try another part of the ship to get through? No, I have to restore power to this section of the ship, which I'm going to do at 14, the engine room? No. Uh, 1, clamp control. 2, prospecting office. 3, shield generator. 4. Huh. It's electing not to tell me what 4 does. It's telling me about 7 storage twice. Does that mean 4 is also storage? Or is this game just inept? Like that frigging previous map. No, can't get in there either. What is happening? Like, am I going mad? Oh, and by the way, like, I'm not saying this game is definitely breaking on me as I'm playing it, but you'll notice I no longer have a quest indicator on the left. I thought this was going to be fun. I would load up the game again. I would start fast forwarding. You guys would get to see uh, the game zipping around and fast forward. Okay, great. Note that I still can't interact with my mouse. 
Uh, seriously, it is 100% unclear how you're supposed to interact if you don't have a controller with those menus. I thought it was just fun. I would, uh, I would go to fast forward, I would zip through the game, and we would uh, have a grand old time. Not only, so there's no quest marker for the quest I'm supposed to do. Oh. Uh, e, Q. Well, no, Q just brought me back to... Oh, it's uh, Q always brings up your melee weapon. It's not like switching to last weapon or something. Uh, okay, did I miss a door over there? I thought it'd be fun. We would just zip forward. We'd have a grand old time. But uh, no, every door... I've been trying to go through has been locked. Or blocked. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's a passageway. Into pitch blackness. And because my flashlight doesn't work anymore, F. Maybe F is flashlight. Let me just see if there's a key binding thing here. Tell me what the different keys do. Controls. Controller. Nope, no way to check. Mouse. Nope, no way to check. Alright, so let's just, uh... Oh, that's weird. My my pointer has disappeared with the... Uh... Yeah, controller no longer works on the screen. Huh. No, duh. All right, so let's look at the map and use the map to figure out where we're going. All right, so we're going... Left. No, we're going straight. Sorry, where's that light coming from? Oh, it's up here. All right, so, oh, I'm not, there's a door here that I'm not getting through. I thought I was getting through the door. Uh, I'm not. No, wait, there's no door there. Is there? No, there's, there is a door there. I just can't see it in this light. What if I shoot? Will that light up the area? Uh, Trigger is not letting me shoot. I bet you were wondering, hey, is Trigger going to let him shoot? It isn't. Oh, there's a door. Right, so, I've lost my quest marker. Uh, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I remember I'm supposed to get to the rear clamp systems at 12, which is great, but all the doors there are powered down, and the game not only is no longer telling me that I have to go to those places, thanks game, but, uh, <laughs> in addition to that, oh, wait, is this new? No, it's not new, that's the way it just was. Uh... Sorry, um, in addition to the game not telling me my overall plot of where I'm supposed to be going, the game has ceased telling me the sub-areas. Like, so, what I'm supposed to do is bring the docking clamps back in, right? So, I have to go to docking clamp power on floor 12, floor 3, area 12, and put power to the systems, then I have to go back up to deck whatever and actually retract the docks. Because why wouldn't that be a two-station process, right? And the game should be saying, oh, uh, to get to that area, you have to... So the, there should be a tag on the left saying, Re retract the docking clamp. And then a second clamp saying, restore power to it on deck three. And I would know to do that. And then another sub thing should enter up saying, restore power to deck three so you can get around on deck three and tell me where to go to do that. But it's not telling me that because this game... I'm not saying the game hates me. I just don't think the game is on my side. And if, uh, uh, if you know what that was a reference to, you know, uh, it's that uh, saying that I don't, uh, I don't blame the game, but I don't think it's on my side. If you know what that's a reference to, uh, I don't blame the game. I just don't think it's on my side. Yikes. I'm, uh, really getting mean about this thing, aren't I? Well, the game could stop frustrating me. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, if you know what that's a reference to, be a subscriber to the channel and be the first commenter below this video to say what it's a reference to, and boom, you win a prize. Uh, it's not going to be a copy of Syndrome. Don't worry, I wouldn't do that to you. No, it'll be a hidden object game. Spoiler alert, my prizes are always hidden object games. So if you don't like hidden object games, why would you enter? Okay, can't get past those. I'm so mad at you right now, Syndrome. Oh, look, it's a data pad. 
That that was not clear as I was walking around earlier. All right, so let's pick up the text log. Uh, there is no button. If you'll notice, there is no button uh, given to pick up text log. So I have to go over it and left click, right click. I can't pick up the text log because there is no longer a button. Oh, you have to press E. Uh, these assets, pools and theaters. Are we all not in the crew? Uh, stress out visualization. Okay, that's great. Oh, you can never leave this thing if you're using the keyboard. Uh, sorry, if you're just using the controller, FYI. Like, how does a game... I started playing this game one week and a half. So, like, ten days before its release is when I started playing this game. How has the game gotten... And, by the way, the last time I played it was... It's 4.30 now. So, the last time I played it was... Uh, 12, 15 hours ago. Yeah, 15 hours ago was the last time I played this game. How has the game gotten noticeably worse one day before launch, 15 hours from when I last played? Like, how does a game have its control systems completely fall apart in that amount of time? Like, d did they put in a last minute patch that just screwed everything up? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, so I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Uh, either this video is gonna stop right here because I didn't finish uh, the problems, or I'm going to abruptly appear back in the uh, screen explaining what happened. Thanks for watching. And uh, like and subscribe in case this is the end. And we're back with, uh, yeah, uh, cryosleep rooms. Apparently there was another path back here, again, uh, marking this stuff on the map would just be huge. Also, and I mean, I'm going to point out that uh, this game came out not 20 years ago, but close to 20 years ago. There was a game called Silent Hill. And on it, uh, there was a map. And you can look at this map and figure out where you are and figure out what you wanted to go. And do you know what happened when you uh, came to a blocked road or a blocked door in that map that couldn't be opened? The map would alter to update your information about the world. So every time I find one of these doors that doesn't have power that tells me to go restore uh, power to the door, I should, uh, yeah, it should be updated as such on the map so I know what I'm doing. Also, uh, game developers, here's a, here's a tip. Uh, when you want your player to take another route, right, take another pathway, uh, to an area. All right, so you find it. You, you got them with a blocked door, right? Oh no, this door is blocked. What am I gonna do? All right, so oh, nice. I'm out of battery power, by the way, so not looking forward to that. Right, let's pick that up. Okay, I accidentally dropped it again. Then I hit the map. Yeah, pick up is the map button, by the way, in case you're wondering uh, who has the most terrible design ideas for games. It's the person who who did that. Okay, that's the that's the guy with the blade arms, right? Yeah, there he is. Ow! And then he bumped into me. I'm probably going to be loading now. Do to do to do. I'm gonna shoot him a bunch of times. Oh no, he killed me first. Anyway, the thing I was saying was <laughs> that if you want people to know that they're supposed to go around, right, uh, when they come on to a locked door, don't have it say, you know, locked, you'll have to restore power to this section of the ship, because that's going to make them think they're supposed to go and restore power to this section of the ship. But that's not what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to find another way around. So have it say blocked, and have the guy in his head say to himself, Damn, I'll have to find another way around. See? Look what that says. I need to restore power to this section. No, I don't. What I need to do is find another way around to my destination. That's what you should be telling me to... In case you're wondering, I walked too close to the wall, and that uh, bottle exploded. Because... And the game still thinks I'm holding the bottle because, oh my god, this game. 
You realize I can't bring up the map now because the game still thinks I'm holding the bottle, even though it's smashed against a wall? I understand that bugs happen in video games, but oh my god. Metal slaves. Good. Apparently somebody doesn't like the robots. The friendly robots who counted up. It's, a, it's another reference, although I already did the prize reference this time. So, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not doing a second one. Uh, I think I have to load the game now. Uh, it's frustrating a level that's hard to cope with. Alright, what am I doing? Severed head, great. So the, the bold conception of this game was, hey, what if it was like one of those, uh, can I get hurt by that? I can. Let's just let that kill me and then we'll, uh. Oh, it stopped. Uh, nice. Hello, zombie, I'd like to shoot you to death. Or is that just more robots? Just more robots. They really do look like zombies. Like that is, that is, that is good. So let's just load. Except we can't press escape. Can't press escape and go to the loading screen. In case you're wondering, oh, Hogru, why can't you press escape and go to the loading screen? It seems like that would be a really obvious thing that anyone could do at any time they wanted to. Uh, the answer is, because the game still thinks I'm holding a bottle, I can't pause the game and go to the loading screen. Or, I can go to this menu. That's nice. Not the other menu. Yep, I'm waiting for Steam to kill me because I can't find the knife guy to do it. Oh my god, you're the worst. Really, it can only hurt you once. Maybe if I go to a second one, it can hurt me as well. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, what's that? More Steam. Great. All right, Steam, Steam me up. I've rarely been as disappointed with this game. Okay, this game has disappointed me all the time over everything. But I've rarely been as disappointed as when I found out that environmental damage, I mean, if it was hurting uh, the zombies, they gave no indication of it. So, I mean, it probably doesn't hurt the zombies, which is hugely disappointing. And if it does hurt the zombies, the fact that it didn't make a sound when it hurt them and they didn't physically react to it at all when it hurt them. Really kind of ticking me off. Do I have my menu back? I do! Yay! Alright, so what less valuable lesson have we learned? Don't accidentally break your bottle uh, because it breaks the entire game. Alright, so let's be careful. Pick up the bottle. Now let's stay the hell away from walls. I just decided to drop it. I don't need the distraction that much. I went the wrong way. I said I decided to drop it. I decided to look at my map. And it thought that but because I pressed Y again, it meant I was going to drop, wanted to drop it. This thing, by comparison, will not break. So I should be fine. Okay. So where's this guy? Now I can use my flashlight because he's blind, right? Some idiot made a blind kill bot. Uh, okay, so 11 is cross sleep rooms. That's right across the hall. Not what I need. What I need is to get... Really loud flashlight you got there, buddy. He's going the other way, right? Yeah. Terrible animation on the knife, buddy. All right, real clamp control. Here we go. I'm basically crawling on the floor. World's slowest crouch walk, don't you think, in this game? Maybe maybe the slowest crouch walk I've ever seen in a video game. I don't know if that's something worth uh, mentioning or praising, but it's certainly true. Okay, this is the rear clamp control room. Is there not a computer screen to interact with or something? Okay. So we're all seeing that there's no operable computer consoles, right? 
Oh, maybe this? No, no, blue never seems to be. Red, yes. Yellowish, also yes. Okay, well, let's check the map again and... Scared about the map there. All right, let's go to the engine room, maybe? Maybe I can get in power from the engine room? It's weird that there's nothing to click on here, right? Like, that's strange. So let's wait till he walks the other way. Oh, that's him, right? You look ridiculous. Just thought I should tell you that. Wow, he's not good at turning either. Kind of getting hung up on walls there, aren't you, buddy? Hate you. Going now. Wanted us to be on the same page. All right. And now I'm dying because the ventilation shaft is turned off. All right. If I, I'm going to start fast forwarding now. If I figure out what's going on, uh, I will let you know because I hate you so much, Syndrome. You've, you've driven me to distraction. Fast forward away! Okay, now to kill the hell out of this guy. Woo! Sorry for yelling there, it took uh, most of my bullets, but he is dead. And I'm not. So we're calling that a win. Uh, yeah, in case you're wondering, that was the main menu. The game did uh, crash when I went to a uh, screen again. Because, Syndrome, you were the most unreliable game I have ever played. That's not true. Uh, obviously, No Man's Sky is worse. But you're pretty bad. Oh, wait. Did they, did they change that at least? Can I eat a... Uh... Nope. If I just press A on a stim pack, I immediately get healed. If I just press A on a, uh, a hot dog, I don't. Wait, what if I press A on it twice? Can I move you? I can. Nice. It still thinks I'm using slot 3, so it automatically switches me to the gun. Rub the gun to the board. You're the worst, Burr. Uh, Alright, so. For the record, my flashlight is not turning on anymore. Is it out of battery power? Or? Let me just check that. Ah, there. It was out of battery power. I feel like that's information it could tell me. So I'm in the rear clamp control. And just for the record... There's, there's nothing to click on, nothing to do, and when I walk into the uh, engine room, I immediately die. No clues, no nothing. What are you doing to me, game? I wasted all of my bullets killing a monster just so I could have a better look at this area and maybe figure out what I'm supposed to do. And there is nothing I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, that's where you would hide from the monster. If hiding from the monster was something I felt like doing, which it clearly isn't, what I wanted to do was shoot the hell out of the monster, so I did. 
Ah. <laughs> ah. So, uh, so Hoguru, at what point were you driven mad by the game Shift Quarters? What are those? Oh, yeah, I found this room before. I remember that. Uh, at what point were you driven mad by the game uh, Syndrome? Was it, uh, you know, the... The, the sound effects, the uh, horrible, the the nightmarish prayer premise, the terrifying monsters, uh, and I would answer to that super loaded hypothetical question I just posed. Uh, my answer would be lack of basic functionality. That is that is when the game really stuck it to me. There was another door to the room I was just in. I'm not good at paying even basic attention to things. Uh, oh, hey, is this back to the elevator? blocked right it is yeah it's blocked off that's what I thought <sighs> sorry about that I know you're not supposed to blow on a microphone hey deadly steam locked off doors my robot buddy Nice that you automatically I'll say this about the game. It's nice that you automatically reload. Oh, whoops. I'm standing directly in front of the steam. It was an accident that time. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not keeping this safe game going. But uh ooh. Do you think I still need the medical saw? Like, what are the odds that that's ever going to Weird. Uh, do you think that's ever gonna come up again, or, or what? No? I was hoping that would explode. Uh, shedding us of our misery. Didn't happen. Nice lighting effects, though. Seriously, uh, flashlight lasts for about two minutes, and then it is impossible to find another uh, thing for it. I'm on deck three, right? Yeah, okay, good. So, dear game. Let's to quickly run back into uh, engineering for a second. Any way to ventilate this room? Uh, you know the uh, there was a um, a sub theme to the logs on this level, kind of a short story being told, but a guy who was mad that uh, nobody lets him use the pool, and then he complains about it, and the officers he's told that it's for officers only. He's like, "What? I don't get to relax?" And then he's like. Um, uh, hey, everybody's dead now and zombies are uh, running around everywhere. Guess it's time for me to use the pool since no one's going to stop me. And then uh, and apparently in that last note, I'm going to have to freeze frame it later to check, but it looks like it was saying, uh, Ah, I found a guy in the pool and I murdered him and now the pool is red. Yay! Because what the hell game. <laughs> Legit, what the hell. Uh, Alright, so let's just uh, take one more minute. All right, where is he? Got a good feeling about this. Can't possibly know where I am. This is certainly no outlast. All right, so uh, you can stop now, music. Yeah, so the decision to crank the music. Oh, and this one I can't pick up. Oh, no, I can pick up. It's just hard to pick up. The decision to crank up the music when there's a monster nearby, rendering me unable to hear the monster. 
and, you know, plan for how to deal with the monster. Wait. Ah, oh, I found it. Okay. Uh, plus 10. Oh, no, minus 10. Wow. I was just about to give up on you, game, and be free of you forever. And now I've got to do this. Just walking the other way. Walking away from the monster. So what the game decided to do was uh, provide no vin visual indication uh, in any way, shape, or form that that thing there um, was the thing you were supposed to click on. You were just supposed to wander around the room and point your mouse at everything and hope that you accidentally pointed at the right thing at some point. Because... If this, uh, if this game is about one thing, it's about giving you the middle finger for eternity in space. I didn't save the game again. Uh, you know what? I better go save the game again. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to fast forward until, uh, uh, we know what's going on. Until I uh, have, have activated the docking clamps and things are moving forward in the plot. Really, I'll stop fast forwarding when people are talking again and the plot seems to be moving. So, uh, I will see you there. Yeah, I'm here. I lost contact before. Hey, she's back. Okay. I'll live. Have you been tampering with the ship systems? Wow, what a sullen I dick. Power surge on the field stabilizers. I'm reactivating the ship's systems and getting us out of here. You can't do that. We need to contain this. Listen, I don't know what happened, but I do know that we need to get the ship moving and find help. Galen, wait. It's too dangerous. You have no idea what's out there. Come and join us. Go and pick you up. We can discuss what to do next, face to face. I'm not sure I should. I've been told you've been killing survivors. Who told you that? Why would we do that? You can't trust anyone. Everyone's out of their minds seeing things. I mean, I'm There's seeing things too, so. Go there and we'll talk through the video feed. I'll brief you with no interferences. I mean, I don't trust her, but I've got literally nothing else to do at this point, so. Fast forward! So remember that uh, whole thing where I was saying that uh, the locked door is very annoying because it tries to convince you that you're supposed to go and do something else when really you're just supposed to go around? And, uh, oh, I should, I've got to restore power to this point of the ship. I guess with the game... Oh, wow, I totally forgot we can search bodies. How did I forget that? Well, they never have anything, but still. Um, it turns out what it meant was uh, that part of the game isn't open in the plot yet, and it's going to arbitrarily open later irregardless of your actions. Just FYI. Who's on pick up? Are you in the comms room? Yes, I I'm looking am. for the terminal. They're all offline. Good. I'm sorry, Caitlin. What's going on? You're probably infected by now. I can't take any chances. And I certainly can't have the ship moving while this is not contained. What have you done? Goodbye. Don't stop this thing! Great, what now? I was shot to death by turrets. Luckily, I didn't save before doing any of this. So, uh... Yeah. Thanks for that, game. L Luckily, I did save before going and tracking the clamp, but, uh... Oh my god, you suck so much, this game. Yep. 
Uh, we got a lot of parts of the game where we just uh, surprisingly kill you with no warning. And there's no auto saves. That's, that's good design, right? No, what? Oh, I'm horrible. I see. Yes, you are. Uh, back to it, everyone. And we're back, getting murdered by turrets. Cause that's that's what people come to video games for, right? Getting murdered by turrets. What's going on? I'm getting gunfire in the comms room. No, you're it's not. Me. I'm I've been here hiding. Under fire from a wall turret. They only set me up. Uh, I told you not to trust that bitch. Okay, bitch. That's a little harsh. Okay, I was able to get one of the terminals working, but I don't have remote access. These turrets can be controlled. That sounds great. Let's do that. Ah, thank you. Hack away, my beauty. Hack away. All right. Hexagon. I guess it's actually a pentagon. What am I saying? Well, they're certainly making me wait for this pentagon, aren't they? And then the down triangle happened twice in three seconds. Come on. What are you doing to me, game? There we go. I can do this. I can do this. Yep. Yay! I would like you to shut down the automatic defensive. Thanks, Jimmy. Trapped like a life. trap in a trap. We need to work together to get out of here. Yeah, you know Jimmy's definitely not real, right? Well, what's next? Can we get the ship running? Well, the engine is operational. But I can't seem to lock on a new destination. Something's blocking the navigational control. Where Probably the, the, the Marines who are trying to contain this outbreak. If there's a blocker, it has to be there. Okay. Which, by the way, like, I know I'm supposed to be looking out for my own safety here, because apparently I'm a selfish monster, but I'm kind of on her side here. Like, they've given me no reason to think she's not right, and it would be better to contain all of this nonsense. Ugh. God game. Alright. Yeah, like, you don't have to autosave when each individual thing happens. But, you know, putting an autosave in... You may be wondering, why is he going to deck 5? That's where the save point is, right outside the elevator. That's where we started the game. Uh, you know, putting an autosave in every time you get off an elevator... That just seems smart. Innovative, if you will. Ah, there's my robot buddy. Love that guy. He's been with me since the beginning of the game. Alright, so let's get this navigation nonsense flipped on, and then we'll uh, be on our way. We're still in Act 1. At, at some point you have to wonder, hey, just what are my ethical responsibilities as a reviewer to actually finish games? I mean, do I finish 90-some percent of the games I review? Yes, and that's because some of the games I review are like sports games that you can't finish. You know, it's like, I'm not finishing Smite. How would you even refer to finishing Smite? Like, unlocking all of the gods? Unlocking all of the gods' costumes? Like, what would what would that be? What would that even look like? What am I supposed to be doing? Navigational system. Navigational is three. All right, and that's straight ahead. But of course, we know we can't go straight ahead because we were just down here. And I remember I'm starting to get a pretty good hang on this place's layout. Okay. Here, corpsey, corpsey. Can't search that corpse. Uh, and it's not giving me an already search logo because, I don't know, the game dislikes me. I'm kidding. I'm sure the game likes me just fine. That's obviously not the case. Here, corpsey, corpsey. 
Yeah, I, I think I've scanned all of these things. You're gonna shut off at some point? There we go. That's, whoa! Yeah, it's way too easy to accidentally stumble into those things. Oh, I remember this area, and I have searched all these corpses. That's a zombie. Not a problem. Just gonna go around the zombies. Are there more zombies in here? Or is that... No, still those are robots I mistook for zombies earlier. I remember this pretty well. And into navigation. Unless the door Jimmy, doesn't Jimmy, the nav system's door is locked. Damn. Okay, good. It must be locked from the inside. The good news is that you can access it through the server storage room. The bad news is that the door is busted. I'm reading air coming from inside. Fantastic. The door must be a jar. Check the workshops on deck three. You might find something there that can pry the door open. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I've already got a long-handled wrench. Is that not plenty? So, again, master class in game design here. Uh, what we want you to do is uh, go upstairs to get to the room. Walk all the way to the room, find out the room's docked. Oh, back to the elevator, back down a floor. It's basically nothing in your way. I mean, I know you guys are ripping off... Uh, System Shock 2. But did you play System Shock 2? Remember how each one of the floors was kind of like uh, its own story with an interlocking set of puzzles and you had to basically complete... No! Oh my god. Damn it. An interlocking set of puzzles. That's like the fourth time I've hit that exact spark on the floor. Uh, and a set of interlocking puzzles and then once you were done that floor... Occasionally you would have to come back to the floor when you got a code later or, you know, to get through a door you couldn't open earlier. But you'd spend a good, like, hour on each floor. And then once you were done with that hour on that floor, you were done with that floor. Remember? Like, that was... what's well, good. And, I mean, games use that design for a reason. It's clean. It's effective. It, it's just solid. And, you know, that's how Bioshock is, everybody. Like, yeah, you can come back to the area, earlier areas in Bioshock if you want to finish off your videotape recording of monsters to get hit bonuses against them, which, yeah, a lot of people forget that was an element of Bioshock. But it was. That was that was in Bioshock. Though I guess people remember now because the Bioshock collection just came out, so people are replaying a remastered version of the first Bioshock. But anyway, my point is... Can't these lights just stay on? Or, like, light up slightly preemptively? Alright, so six is... Ugh, gotta go all the way around. wonder if this jerk is back. Oh, at least there's a save point. <sighs> Wee doggy. Alright, so let's go find out what's going on in the workshop. And, uh... After we've done that, we'll, uh... Uh, after we've figured out what's going on in the workshop, we'll just uh, fast forward back to that room that I have to break into. So you don't have to watch me go through all that nonsense again. Alright. Just through here. Okay. I don't have a flashlight anymore. Flashlight ran out of battery power. Should probably do something about that. My only, uh... Only flashlight battery I've found in the whole game. Because this game is terrible. I... The hell was that? Is there a monster in here with me? I can't see anything. Although I am glad I just saved. There's a bunch of monsters in here with me. God, no. 
Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna email my editor and be like, so at what point can I just give up on a game? Like five hours and four crashes and you know three hours uh, like three solid hours of terrible design that's plenty right like the odds that this game is going to suddenly massively improve are just they're just not great like can my can my review just be a list of all of the super stupid design decisions this game makes so where is this guy Oh, there he is. And there's another one behind me, right? Yep. There we go. The other one I can club to death. So I can't scan guys to find out data about them, right? No, that would make too much sense. Seriously, why is the scanner in my inventory like that at all? Getting where it's light so I can fight him. That could have gone worse. I mean, I'm not dead. Hey, can I search their corpses? I cannot. All right. Uh, yeah. You are the worst. This game. Uh, what am I supposed to do in here? Oh yeah, that's the uh, the dead end from earlier, right? Seriously, though, there don't seem to be that many crew quarters. How many, like, between the, all of the zombies and all the corpses I've seen lying around, I feel like there can't be that many monsters left in this ship. You know, it's not like this is a giant, you know, capital ship like the Von Braun. It seems to be a relatively small craft. Seriously, what am I supposed to be looking for? Is it is it in here? Is it that? <laughs> Dear game, it's not like you're not cheating if you highlight things. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's okay to, to highlight a point of interest. Alright, so you may be asking, why is he gonna go save? Well, on the off chance that I actually do want to complete this game at some point in the future, I'm obviously running incredibly low on battery power. And I feel like it's going to be taking a lot of battery power to find what I need. Uh, so I'm probably going to waste all of my battery power just looking for the pry bar I need. So, so why waste that? Does that make sense? So I'll find out why the pry, where the pry bear... I'll find out where the pry bar is, I will get it, and I will load, and I will come back and get it without using all of this battery power. Wait, 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 wait! A floor jack, of all things, huh? Alright, so I'm gonna do what I said, and then I'll fast forward us back down to the, uh, the place. The place. You're an embarrassment, Hokuru. You're an embarrassment to all of us. Fast forward! Okay, we're here! Yay! Uh, we're inside the server room. We're gonna move from the server room to the next place in a second. And then, honestly, that'll be it for this video. Uh, Alright, let's see what that has to say. For the record, this is a uh, data pad we're not able to pick up and read. Because that's a new thing they're adding. Search Corpse. 
Except sometimes you can't search corpses because the game is capricious. Um, okay, so there should be a door right through here somewhere. Um, well, I can't climb in the game. Um, anybody see what I'm doing wrong here? So, directly in front of me, there should be a way to sneak from here to the navigational systems, right? Except so you can't go through the floor, because this isn't that kind of game. Oh, another crate we can open. Except this crate has nothing in it. Fantastic. Is it a secret tunnel crate? No, it's just a crate. Crate I can't use. Okay. By the way, for the entire rest of the game, I haven't been able to pick up crates. So, for you to now assume I was going to know to pick up the crate for a puzzle is kind of insane, right? Also, uh, the wall I'm supposed to look on is not the wall listed on the map. The, uh, just... We just again... People ask me, what is the game Syndrome about? Uh, a middle finger stuck in front of the human face forever in space. Although I did just get a submachine gun, so I can't 100% complain. Okay. So there's definitely something in here with me, but I have a submachine gun. So we're going to see how that goes. And an extra clip of all things. You look hilarious. Like, I know you're killer, what, robots? I'm supposed to be scared. But you look hilarious. Short controlled burst, people. The one thing I learned from the movie Aliens. Oh, damn it. Wasted a couple of bullets there. But you know what? It's fine. They're all dead. I'm alive. Potato, potato. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's that. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Uh, I guess I should uh, see what's on this thing first. And then it crashed on him. I'm kidding. Uh, I would like to unlock the door. Uh, I would like to remove lockdown. Wow, that was weirdly user-friendly. Okay, that was weird. Why not? We there are zombies all over the ship. Jimmy, are you sure that's wise? How will we call for help? We don't need to ask for help if we can have the ship moving. But we can make sure that no more soldiers arrive. <sighs> Let's do it then. Um. How? How is this a good plan? Like, remember how in uh, System Shock 2 and in Bioshock it's like kind of a twist? That you're working for the wrong guy and there's something else going on. Like, I 100% am of the belief that the soldiers... The name, but I know for sure that this is a Striker SMG with 30mm hyper-accelerated rounds. Good. How do I know this? Good question. Uh, obviously... It'd be funny if we weren't that guy who woke up. Uh, we were just got into that guy's pod. And that guy was the villain who had caused all the problems. But anyway. Um, yeah. Like here, I'm demonstrably on the wrong side of this. What, I'm, what they're having me do is clearly a bad idea. It would not be good if this ship got to publicated... Uh, publicated. Wow. 
populated human space, it's full of frigging zombie monsters. How is that an upside? But uh, nope. Just because that one lady tried to kill me once because I was being unreasonable, I've decided to take the side of a super untrustworthy dude who might just be all in my head. <sighs> Alright, so that was... Um... Oh, we're in Act 2 now. I didn't even notice we'd gotten into Act 2. Uh, this has been Syndrome. A game that comes out on the 6th, but you might be watching videos of it on the 4th. Who can say? I've been Hogaru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Like and subscribe. Wait, I already did the sign-off stuff early in this video. Sorry, I'll just go.